All right, so this story is very amusing. Uh, I came across this in my Facebook feed, and I thought it'd be interesting to talk about. It's about uh, leftover women in China. So for those of you who don't know very much about China, um, feminism has made its way there, and it's made its way there strong, okay? It's very, very... Feminism is really, really gaining strength in China. And a lot of Chinese women have swallowed the feminist Kool-Aid. So, of course, they're alone. <laughs> very angry, very bitter, uh, with lots of cats, no man, uh, seeking to justify their aloneness uh, in a country where being married by the age of 25 is very important, okay? The difference between China and America, between China and the West, is that China still values family, okay? They value family. They value their patriarchy, all right? They're red-pilled when it comes to women's nature and what a man's place should be in a relationship and in the home. So feminism, it doesn't really fly there very well. So if a woman is feminist in China, she's going to be alone because no Chinese man is going to want her. Now, a Western man may be. And you'll find out more about that later on in the story. But this broad, she's not finding any Chinese men that want her. As much as she tries, I can't find me a man because she's a feminist in a country that oh, does not like feminism, in a country that values family, values men, and hasn't, by and large, swallowed the feminist fucking Kool-Aid. And it's already a Marxist communist country. You see, Marxism is used to break down a free market capitalist system and turn it into a commie shithole. Well, China's already a commie shithole, so the tool is no longer required <laughs> to transform it into that. So they do not value this kind of cultural Marxism when it comes to family. Not at all. Because they understand how reality works and they know that the man is far more productive than the woman and we don't want women in control. These motherfuckers are based. These motherfuckers are red-pilled when it comes to relationships, okay? So this broad, being a fucking feminist in China, it's hilarious. And she posted a video on YouTube. So we're going to check that out together and see what she has to say. So let's get to... The lols. The LOLs, shall we? Okay, so the title of this video is China Doesn't Like Single Women, and here's why. And this is some funny shit. Um, <laughs> Look at the translation. I have high standards. Now, are you looking at this broad? And now look at her arms. They're a little chunky, right? She's got some chunky arms, okay? Especially for a Chinese broad. Chinese broads tend to be very thin, very svelte. She's got some, uh, the arms a little big there. And look at her hair. She's got one of those uh, tomboy hairdos. So she doesn't have a woman's hairdo, and her hair is poorly kept. It's all over the place. But her hair's me high standards. I didn't even think she's that attractive. She'd be a hell of a lot more attractive if she had long hair. Oh, but I have high standards. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, no. so th this is where you know she's a feminist, okay? Because you don't respect anybody that hasn't earned it, okay? I think maybe either she's mistaking consideration for respect, but I don't think so. Okay, all feminists believe you should respect women, but I don't have to respect man. <laughs> but they have to respect me. It doesn't go both ways. You want to know if a woman's a feminist? If she says you must respect women, dump her. Don't call her again. Ghost her ass because she's a feminist. No, bitch. You don't get my respect until you earned it. <laughs> She, by the way, look at her. Uh, just to clue you in, she's over 30. <laughs> she's in her 30s and she's only been in two relationships. Oh boy. <laughs> Holy shit! This is another thing you need to understand about Chinese. They're red-pilled, they're based. 
in how they talk to each other. They're very, very honest, okay? There's no beating around the bush, okay? If they think you're fat, they'll tell you they think you're fat. If they don't think you're beautiful, they'll tell you later, but you're not beautiful in the traditional sense. Right. So her sexual marketplace value is very low. So how can you have high standards? But of course, this woman has swallowed the feminist Kool-Aid. So she doesn't understand how objective reality works. She only understands how feminism tells her reality is supposed to work. So, so she don't get it. <laughs> I don't mean you're not pretty, but I mean you're not a beauty yet. No shit. She's definitely not a motherfucking beauty. Far from it. What would you rate her? I think she's maybe a four at best. If she's got an okay body, but she has high standards, oh my God, this is what I'm talking about, men. You think you're going to find some fucking unicorn in another country, in an Asian country? Think again. Feminism has corrupted them all. <laughs> I love it. This is great. Also, you're really old. <laughs> fucking priceless you're really old yeah so if you're 27 years old in china and unmarried you're what's called a leftover woman and she's something like 34 35 and she's got high standards lady you should have no standards you should be willing to marry a bathroom attendant you should be willing to marry the dude that cleans up the fucking corn in the fucking movie theater after the movie ends okay you should be willing to marry the dude that cleans the urinals in the subway station. You should be willing to get with anybody. Anybody that will have you, you should be with. No standards. It's crazy. <laughs> Later, she's like, I'm old. See how she's clueless? See how she's totally clueless? I'm old? 35's old? Really? Yeah, really, you dumb bitch. <laughs> she thinks she's a good age. Uh, for what? At 30 years old, 90% of your eggs are dead. So at 35, I think it's like 98%. The odds of you popping out a kid? <laughs> oh my God, honey. You are not fertile at all. And if you do have a kid, he's going to be Quasimodo. And you're going to have to ship him off to ring the fucking bells in Notre Dame, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you think you're at the perfect age for the marriage market? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Please don't think you're in a good position. Look at her face, though. She's in denial mode. She's in denial mode. Look at her face. She's getting all defensive and closing up and pulling herself back into her little shell, her little bubble. A feminism that tells her, you know, things that are objectively not true, <laughs> like she's in a good position. You might think you look young. <laughs> I love it! Oh, she's telling this woman exactly what I would tell her. See, this is what I'm talking about. The Chinese are based when it comes to relationships, okay? Unfortunately, there's plenty, plenty of feminist bros in this country. Wait, look at her face. I don't agree with you. I'm in denial. Of course, she doesn't think she's in denial, which is what everybody who's in denial, who's in denial, thinks. Look at it. Look at her face. Great. So there's, this is another thing. So there's many, many more men than there are women, okay? So there's, there's this uh, scarcity of women. So you would think that she'd be in a prime position. No. That's how much the Chinese dislike feminism and how much of a patriarchal culture they have. Huh. She's slim, I guess, but... She's not beautiful by a long shot. The government seeing family as a crucial for social stability pressures single women to get married. Good luck. Ain't no Chinese man gonna get with her. She's not bad looking, bro. From the side there, you can see the remnants of attractiveness from maybe 10 years ago. So I bet you when she was 25, 
she was pretty attractive, but her face is now kind of chunky and fatty. So, you know, she's not nearly as attractive as she probably was 10 years ago. And of course, the short hair. Wait a second, is that white hair? Look, 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 look there's white hair. Oh my God, she's a granny. And she thinks she's in a, 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 the perfect age slot for marriage. Oh lady, you, you are fooling yourself. Well, at least she doesn't have a gut. Oh, geez. What's with the short hair, by the way? I don't, I don't get this. Well, I am a fitness, and I need to do things to be as unattractive as possible, or at the very least, not fit into the gender stereotypes that the so-called patriarchy has established for me, because I'm rebelling against that. Yeah, well, if you do that, men are not going to find you attractive, honey. Why don't you grow your hair out? She's probably just lazy, looking for an excuse not to have long hair because it's so much more difficult to maintain. So she sent on a date. That that person that she was talking to earlier was a uh, matchmaker in, in China. <laughs> An actual red bill based truth-telling matchmaker that you won't find here in the West. Oh, this should be interesting, this date. Oh, he's uh, complimenting her. She probably finds that uh, uh, offensive. <laughs> no talking going on. So she's a social retard in addition to a feminist. Lovely. <laughs> Wow, that's awkward. That looks awkward. <laughs> Great. Gee, I wonder why she's single. What the hell? Oh boy, she's out there exercising. Why are you bothering, honey? Why are you bother? Why are you bothering exercise? You don't need no man. You need a man like a fish needs a bicycle. Why are you keeping yourself in shape? Why? By the way, she needs to do a little more to keep herself in shape. She looks like she's developing a double chin there. So despite the one-child policy, they still kept trying and had multiple kids, and they wanted a boy, not a girl. Oh, jeez. Bad idea. So they didn't have a boy, so they pushed her to get an education. So here's how things in China work. Uh, they don't have the kind of social security welfare net that exists in America. So when you get old, your children are supposed to take care of you. And that's why parents favor a boy over a girl, because they understand they know that a boy, when he grows up, is more than likely going to be far more productive and make more money and then being able to take care of them in their dotage, in their old age. But since they didn't have a boy and they had girls, they pushed their girls to get as much education as possible so they could make enough money, have enough resources to take care of them in their old age. Unfortunately, <laughs> this education led her to adopt feminism. Bad. Oh, gee, she became a lawyer. You see that? <laughs> Professional woman. <laughs> Uh-oh. She doesn't care about marriage, not concerned, all about her profession. And yet all she's doing when she has free time is browsing the Internet, looking at marriage websites. <laughs> Could these women be lying to themselves about what they want any more than this broad already is? So from that side view, she's got good cheekbones. Uh, again, a little bit of jowl there. She's getting older, but she's not a bad looking, but not great looking either. Again, if she grew some longer hair, that, that would help. Oh my God, talk about a meat market. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh 
Oh, my God. So she's got this idealistic, romantic view of love. Instead of falling in love, you want to get married. So, so notice immediately she doesn't associate marriage with love. To her, it's like some kind of business arrangement, a deal, all very businesslike and professional, nothing more. Oh, my God. No wonder she can't get married. No wonder she can't find a man with her views on relationships and marriage. Oh, boy. Enough with the short hair, bitch. You look like a little boy. Oh, the old little boy. <laughs> oh, boy. This isn't the same guy as the first date. So this is another date. Ah, Oh, here we go! Anytime a woman uses the term male chauvinism, that means she believes it is a real thing and she has a problem with it. And it's some kind of pejorative, so you know she's a feminist. People in Shandong are traditional and they're very chauvinistic. Male chauvinism is very common. Who talks about these kind of things? Who, who brings these kind of things up? Whenever a woman brings up words like patriarchy, toxic masculinity, or male chauvinism, you are dealing with a feminist, somebody who essentially denies objective reality and how the real world works. You want to run as fast as you possibly can away from her. So she's automatically telling him that she has a problem with uh, how 99.9% .9 of Chinese men are. <laughs> What's a mystery why she's 对，整个家庭里边占主导权。我并不是说你，比如说钻研我手机是什么，我电电视是什么情况。Look at her face. Look, look, look at how she's cringing now. Oh no, I've got to get rid of this guy. He wants to be dominant. Yeah, imagine that. A man who wants to be dominant in the relationship. A man who wants to be with a woman. Now, personally, me. I am not big into like super submissive women or submissive women. I don't want a woman that's just going to sit there and look pretty and not talk, not speak, not be able to converse with me. But I don't want, again, I, want, I don't want some broad that's going to be competing with me to have dominance in the relationship. Okay, I don't want somebody that's challenging me all the time, all right? I want to be the one holding the motherfucking reins, okay? It's that simple. I don't want to be a control freak. I want to be in charge of every fucking situation. She's going to get input. She's going to get to give her view. We're going to make decisions jointly. But I don't want some broad who's constantly going to be fighting me for control. That's not fun. And really, when you get in a relationship with somebody you want to spend the rest of your life with, neither one of you should be talking about dominance or control or worrying about these kind of things. The only time that these kind of subjects come up is with a fucking feminist, okay? Yeah, look at, look at her face. She's like, oh no, he wants to dominate me. Well, why don't you try it, bitch? You're just afraid of the unknown because you've never been in a relationship with anybody other than a motherfucking pussy. Okay, and she didn't like that either. That's why she dumped those dudes. They might have been beta male blue pill Samson. She don't want that either. So you don't want a pussy, and you don't want a real man. What do you want? No, she don't know. Oh, I love this. Yeah, as a woman, you don't need to give advice. Just tell me what you need. Right, what do you need? Yeah, and he'll try to give it to you. And I'll make the decision. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. She don't like that at all. <laughs> Imagine that a man doesn't want to be with another man. <laughs> Notice what he said, suddenly making decisions alone. So he is saying that as a couple, they would make decisions together, okay? Which would mean she would also have power in the relationship. But she didn't hear that. All she hears are the things that are buzzwords, are, 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 are red flags as a feminist, even though they are the things that would make for the best relationship possible. Of course, feminism is about keeping men and women apart and divided, so <laughs> the things that are red flags to a feminist would really be good for them if they tried them. <laughs> Look at her. 
<laughs> Look at still like heartbroken. He makes good money and he's not bad looking, but oh no. Oh, he wants to be a man in the relationship. Yeah. Oh, I imagine that the man wants to be the man. Mm. She looks like a man. She looks like a man there. This is the problem. Feminism teaches women to be like men, while at the same time promoting some kind of hatred or dislike of masculinity, which they call toxic. They're constantly at odds with their own motherfucking nature, and in turn, the opposite sex. No wonder she can't find a man. Look at this. So for those of you who don't know how China works, one-third of the population lives in cities and two-thirds still live in rural areas, and the majority of them are farmers. So yeah, one-third of the population have managed to climb their way out of horrible poverty and live in relatively good conditions. I say relatively because the bottom of the barrel people who live in cities still live four to a very small apartment, okay? They might be in an apartment that's like one quarter the size of mine, but there's four people living in it in fucking bunk beds. But it's still a far cry from this village life which two-thirds of the population still live in, and the majority of those two-thirds are farmers. <laughs> That's her niece. She has a sister or other sisters who actually got married and had kids. Because they didn't get educations like her. <laughs> she doesn't want to find one. Wasn't she just at a dating company and, and, and employing the services of a matchmaker? But now she's saying she doesn't want to find one. That's so interesting. That's her father, by the way. Uh, translation, I really want to get married, but nobody wants to marry me. <laughs> and I'm afraid to be in a relationship with a masculine man because, you know, I'm so used to being in charge and control, I can't give up any hand. Yeah, typical feminist. Oh, <laughs> All that schooling makes you dumb. Correct. <laughs> See? See, this is knowledge that white Western European people used to have, and I've talked about this before, how Earl, old world European men used to understand men and relationships as well as these people or even better. But now, because the education system has been so watered down with feminism and progressive PC bullshit that is at odds with how objective reality actually works, people don't understand these simple truths. Yeah, no high-status man would want you, right? Wasn't that what he said? Yeah, you're highly educated, and you don't want someone with a low social status. And yet, the things about you that a man values aren't there. <laughs> No, she can't find anyone because her standards are too high and she constantly makes excuses to disqualify man after man after man and then the ones that she wants don't want her so now she's bitter and angry and is pretending and acting like she doesn't want to get married. Well, actually, she does. Uh oh. 
That's right. That's a feminist. Yeah, who's going to take care of them in their dotage? <laughs> She's the only one that makes decent money. Right, right. So, so the whole uh, postmodernist progressive deal is that the past, you leave that behind. So you're postmodern. Even ignore the wisdom of the past, move beyond what is considered modern, and go postmodern. Right? Embrace radical new ideas. Yeah, I know better than the people of the past. I have more wisdom than people that are older than me and have already lived through what I have lived through. God forbid I listen to my father and do what my father did. Oh no, I don't want to listen to him. He's only twice my age and has much more wisdom. God forbid I listen to somebody like that. <laughs> Look at her crying, <laughs> confronting her with the truth that she can't handle it. <laughs> That's a good question. Who's going to take care of her when she gets really old? I mean, I guess maybe she can take care of herself, but... Mm, I don't know. What's going to happen when her mind starts to go as a lawyer? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, she doesn't mind. Yeah. That's why she's going to all these, uh, you know, meat markets and these uh, big get togethers with the, uh, you know, the rotation dating where you sit down for like 90 seconds and then hop tables, hop tables. And why she's hiring expensive matchmakers because she doesn't really mind it. Yeah. Who's she fooling? <laughs> Not me. Not herself either. Yeah, she doesn't care so much she's crying. Yeah, come on, lady. <laughs> I simply don't want to get married, but you keep worrying about it. Yeah. Why aren't you worrying about it? And she is, of course, worrying about it. Look at her, though. You want to be with that? What a neurotic mess she is. See what I said about people being at odds with their own nature? That's exactly what this broad is. <laughs> oh, you keep saying how seeing your child grow up brings you happiness. That's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell yourself some more lies, honey. Maybe you'll believe them one day. <laughs> These people know the truth and how reality actually works. They're upset and saddened by the fact that their daughter is so misguided and deluded. Yeah. This is, this is leftism, though. It's a brain pathogen. You can confront these people with the truth, and they still will not be red-pilled to it, okay? Awkward silence there. <laughs> Look at her messing with a hammer. Yeah, tomboy. Oh boy. <laughs> but I don't care. That's why I'm crying. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> that is your typical feminist, but in a country that doesn't value it, that isn't PC, that isn't progressive and a country where people are actually still at least men anyway red pilled to how relationships really work and a lot of the women are too okay and not all the women in china have swallowed the fucking feminist kool-aid like this broad just the professional ones that leave the village and go out and get her career get a job but the ones that live in the rural situations they still value marriage so yeah she's not going to find a hubby and by the way she didn't find a hubby in china but guess what she did do she found herself a hubby in germany 
She couldn't even find a man in a country with 1.4 billion people where there's more men than women. <laughs> Her ideology and personality and character are so toxic that she had to go to another fucking country, nay, another motherfucking continent, to find herself a man and she had to go to one of the top five feminist countries in the world and get herself a blue pilled simp mangina male feminist and I guarantee you divorce is in their future because as much as this woman says she wants a specific type of man even though she says she doesn't want marriage at all even though all she's doing in her spare time is looking for a husband <laughs> I guarantee you it will not work out because like all women she says that she has X, Y, and Z standards, but when she gets what she wants, if it's not a real man, she's not going to be happy. So I guarantee you within five years, she's going to be divorced. And single again, but this time, she'll be in her 40s looking for a man, even though she doesn't care about finding a man. This is great. This is what you ladies have in store for your future if you continue down this broad path. Oh, man, she had to go to fucking Germany to find a husband. I mean, that's all I know. I don't know anything more about the guy. Uh, the limited research I did, all I know is that she had to move to Europe. <laughs> oh, to one of the most feminist countries on the planet. And that's not going to work out because no woman wants to be with a feminist man, a femme man, a blue-pilled man, a weak, non-masculine man, which you have to be to be a male feminist. So let me know what you thought of that video in the comment section, and please like and subscribe to my BitChute channel if you have not already. And again, if you really like and appreciate the raw, red-pilled nature of my content, please consider going and checking out my website, therealistphilosopher.com forward slash donate and making a donation. That's therealistphilosopher.com forward slash donate. I could really use your help.